well, the company I worked for, uh, for 10 and a half years went out of business. I was faced with the situation of not being able to pay rent and bills and all that. And I was worrying a lot about my daughter. It's really difficult and it's really, um, truly a, a hard realization, you know, that you're homeless and you have to bring your child to a shelter. When you're out there on the streets, I don't care how smart you are. You might have the greatest plan in the world, but if you don't have somebody to help point your nose in the right direction, that plan doesn't mean anything. I was homeless and, you know, I needed help. And they were just wonderful, you know. Operated by Catholic Charities, the Guadalupe Shelter is a safety net for those who have become homeless in our community. For over 80 years, Catholic Charities uh, has been addressing the issue of homelessness, and we know we do that in two ways, by preventing homelessness in the first place, and also by helping those who find themselves homeless attain self-sufficiency to get on their own feet and be a part of the community again. Catholic Charities is the charitable arm of the Archdiocese, and its mission has always been to help those who are poor and needy and for 23 years we have managed and run this shelter. It was built on a foundation from the 1890s and the building itself was constructed in the 1930s. The largest growth in the homeless population is single women, families and children. And this facility just doesn't provide for their needs. We're sitting now in the, in the bunk room um, for single men. And just across the, the hallway, um, with a wall in between it, is the area for, for families and for single women. There's a guy's side and a girl's side, um, but it's just two hallways, so there's not really anything really in between them. Um, I'm aware that there's one, one um, family room, but I've been here when there's been um, more than one family at a time, so um, at times you have to share <laughs> pretty close living. You have about this much space between uh, your bunk bed and another bunk bed. The accessibility is also a problem because it's hard for not only for those who need a safe night's sleep, but it's not accessible from this shelter to the services they need. We're six miles away from our Catholic Charities facility where services are provided during the day. We're several miles away from Human Services, the food bank, the other services that many of our families need. It's not on the bus route. There's only two times a day that the city bus drivers come out into the county where the shelter is located. That's at six o'clock in the morning and they come out at seven o'clock at night. You know what's really kind of physical aspects that are uncomfortable that the shelter opens at like 7 at night and you come in and it's kind of dark and you come around the side and you know it's not well lit. Just how the facility I don't really think it's adequate. Recently there was a study done that showed that there's about 3,500 homeless in Well County. There's about 750, more than 750 school aged children who are part of that homeless. When you look at the facilities that are available for those who are truly homeless and have nowhere to stay, it was totally inadequate. To address the inadequacies of the old shelter, the community campaign for a new Guadalupe Community Assistance Center has been launched. The new Guadalupe Community Assistance Center will provide an expansion of the current services that we provide for the uh, homeless and this new facility will offer us the opportunity with all our services and the shelter in one facility. Not only help those who were in the shelter move forward in their lives, but use the range of services that we have, our emergency assistance, our assistance to seniors, the whole range to prevent homelessness. So that's a tremendous opportunity, especially when you add into what's right across the street. One of them is job service, job training, the health department, many other services will be located in the area. So to bring everything together right here will be a tremendous opportunity for those people who need these services. The design of the new Guadalupe Community Assistance Center specifically addresses the needs of the homeless. 
The top floor is dedicated to the fastest growing segment of the homeless population, families, single women, and children. With a shared living room, six family rooms, a single women's dorm, and a secured outdoor children's play area. The middle floor has a dining room, commercial kitchen, emergency assistance and administrative offices, a chapel, and storage rooms. The multi-purpose community room will serve as a training and support classroom for shelter residents and for community collaborations. The lower level serves single men with a common living room, resource room for job training and research, laundry rooms, a locker room, and facilities to support casework services and shelter operations. One of the beauties of this project is it really brings together all kinds of different constituencies in the community. It brings together Catholic Charities and our work throughout Northern Colorado. It brings together the public uh, arena as well as involved in this. We have private businesses engaged in this, individuals from all over. It's really a community taking care of a community. It's a faith-based public effort. I think it's really the ideal vision for what it really takes to help those who are most vulnerable in a community and to strengthen a community. Catholic Community Services has raised a great deal of the monies that will be needed to build the project. So it's a great opportunity for the community to receive a project at a price that's significantly less than the total cost. It is truly a call of action. It's for the community to come forth and give as much as they can so that this project can move ahead and be constructed. Please think about that prayerfully and, and, uh, and see if you can do it. Uh, one of the things that's our fundamental conviction is that when we serve those in need, we're actually serving God Himself. Thanks to the help that I received out at Guadalupe Shelter, I'm now in my own apartment. They took the chaos that was happening and helped me prioritize things in life to, to get us back on our feet. It's just wonderful, you know, it's, it's really tough to be in a situation like that, but to have um, somebody that, you know, really cares about the people in their situations. I'm just really grateful for that.